Hi, I'm Jackson here for Young Bow and Arrivo, and I'm with Michaela Asensio with Asensio's Marketing. And we're going to get right into it today. So, how did you start it, and when did you start your marketing events company? Asensio started in 2007 as a clothing company, and then I restarted in 2014 marketing events company after I attended school for marketing and I really enjoyed what I was doing, so I decided to start my own company. All right. So, since you started that company, how has the fashion world and the marketing world changed? What have you had to adjust to with the boom of social media? How did you factor that into your marketing campaigns? One of the few huge marketing avenues right now is social media. So that's what everybody thinks when they think of Millennials and how do you market to millennials? They automatically think social media, but I found that after social media, there's one on one interaction and contact between brands. So, my company focuses on small businesses, startup businesses, and online businesses. We bring them um, to fun events, and I have different vendors and different companies come together to target the millennial demographic in a fun party environment. So, I would say the biggest change in my head is that, like I said, after social media, face-to-face -face interaction. So it's that one-on-one, person-to-person -person contact? It's the meeting the owner or the brand representative and them being able to tell you why their brand is different or why their product is different and making that connection. So when you think of the brand later, you'll automatically think of that connection that you had with the owner or the sales rep. So what sparked your interest in marketing? What's something like a catalyst, maybe a story or anecdote you had that kind of led you into the marketing world? Um, it's not really a short story. Uh, I worked you have the time. <laughs> I so. worked fashion retail for about 12 years, started as a sales associate, worked my way up to store manager for some really, really great companies and brands that everyone knows. And I really loved what I was doing, but I felt I was on the wrong side of the store. I didn't want to be in sales anymore. I had, I had mastered sales and communication and management and, and organizational behavior and things like that. And I was ready to see where it all began from production and manufacturing to styling to the whole, you know, other side of fashion retail. Okay, so you wanted to grow within that area and not be uh, behind the counter as much. You wanted exactly. to be at the head off. Yes, I wanted to inspire the trends or at least know what the new trends were and what was going to be in the store and what was going to be hot for the new seasons. And those are great fundamentals that you learn in retail, but that's so after the fact, there's a whole world before the sales floor that I wanted to tap into. So what lessons do you learn in retail that kind of helped you to this day? And when you plan an event, when you look forward to an event next year, what do you take with you today? Everything, everything that I learned as far as working started in retail. Customer service, huge. No matter what your business is, you will have customers and you want to make them happy and, and know that you have the power to do so. Um, I mean, obviously, organization, time management, um, so many life skills that you learn in retail.